It's getting cold outside. Woo! You know what that means. That means it's time to make sure our bays stay nice and warm. So I'm going to show you what I do to help keep them good and toasty during this winter season. It may not be what you think. Stick with us. So how do you heat your bay? A lot of people I've seen out at campsites with older coaches that don't have piped heat underneath use light bulbs. Problem is they get really hot and they're made of glass. They don't last real long and they're extremely hard to come by anymore. It's hard to even find the higher wattages. You can still pick some up, but they're phasing these out in place of the LED, which is great for energy consumption, but they don't put out that much heat. So what I have done with mine is because I do not use gas heat. I only use electric heat and heat the main part of the coach. So my underneath bays are not heated. I've gone and used this product here called Easy Heat. It's this little thermostatically controlled plug that you can get on Amazon. I'll put a link below. Uh, they're only about 18 bucks. I've seen them as low as about 15 to $20. And what this does is you plug something into this and it only activates when it gets down below 38 degrees Fahrenheit. And then when it reaches 50 degrees Fahrenheit in the bay, it shuts off the power and kills it. So what do I run off of this? I run this right here, which is my heat. This is this heater right here. It's a 200 watt heater. And this heater here puts out plenty of heat. When I plug it in to this thermostatically controlled heater plug, and it drops below 38 degrees, this will kick on until that bay, until this plug reaches 50 degrees, which I put the plug opposite end of the heater. And so it'll shut off at the same time. And then it won't kick back on again until it drops down below 38 degrees. So this is a fantastic solution. These only cost about $18 on Amazon. I'll put the link below for it too. So, you know, combined about $35 solution. I run two of them in my coach. I'll go out and show you where I've got those. As an example, one of my wet bays in the winter time is set up like this. I actually leave it plugged in like this year round, uh, not just in the winter time, but I've got the easy heat plugged in the outlet there. And I just, I funneled the cord up and over and down to the little my heat thing, make sure that it stays on uh, and it's ready to go. If you were concerned and didn't want it to kick on, you could always flip off the switch or unplug it or remove it in the summertime if you thought it was in the way, but it's not in the way for me. Uh, doesn't bother me. When it comes on, this just puts out a nice gentle heat with the fan and blows it until this up here reaches 50 degrees and then it shuts the whole thing down until it drops below 38 and then it kicks it back on again. So it'll keep this area nice and toasty. And the other side of the wet bay where I've got my hot water heater and all my controls and everything to operate all the water systems. I've got my easy heat back there set to on and I've got my thermostat up here. It's plugged in the AC so it'll kick on and heat up this bay area with those tanks and everything and keep it uh, to where it stays a nice temperature in here and then shuts off when not needed. I sure hope you found this helpful as a nice tip to help keep the underneath side of your coach warm and cozy. Thanks again for watching.